How would you draw a circuit containing two 230 volt lamps so that both lamps are protected by a fuse? Here are our symbols. We have an alternating current supply. That's your typical household electricity supply at 230 volts. And that is going backwards and forwards at about 50 times a second or 50 hertz. We've got two lamps and they're both rated at an operating potential difference of 230 volts. So we must make sure that they have 230 volts across them for them to light with normal brightness. And we have the circuit symbol for a fuse here. So now we might think that we could compare we could connect the lamps in series and then we could put the fuse in series with those and come back to our supply that's our 230 volts and then we have a return path for the current to flow now there is a problem with this when you have components in series the voltage across the components is the supply voltage shared so it's this supply voltage is shared among the components that are in series so we're only going to get half of 230 115 volts across this lamp and 115 volts across this lamp and as they're rated at they're rated at 230 volts operating voltage this is not a suitable circuit we can't put them in series okay so how do we do it so that the supply voltage is the same across both components well for this we need to use a parallel circuit so we'll put our supply at the top here that's our 230 volts and Okay, our first circuit will be there, that's our first lamp. And then we're going to connect a parallel circuit, so we need junctions. And here's our second circuit, which is in parallel with the first. And so the thing about parallel circuits is that the supply voltage is the same across the components that are connected in parallel with it. So components in parallel have the same potential difference across them. So that's good news because across here we'll have 230 volts and across here we'll have 230 volts. Brilliant. So where should the fuse go? Well, the electricity supply usually has a live wire and a neutral wire. And the neutral wire acts as the return path for the current. It's usual practice to put the fuse in the live wire because the live wire is the, the one which has the electrical energy and it's pushing the charge backwards and forwards. So if we put our fuse here, it means that if there's a problem, for example, if there's a suddenly a, a high current flowing through this lamp because it's short circuited or there's a there's a fault, then that means that high current will also flow through the fuse and that will make the fuse melt, which will disconnect the live wire from both of the lamps. So neither lamp will work. And that's a good idea to put it on the live side because then we're disconnecting the live wire from the circuit if there is a, a fault. So there is a parallel circuit for wiring lamps so that they're both protected by a fuse.